Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Capricorn, this is the Beware spread. We've got the two of wands, the page of wands clarified by the Knight of Swords. We have the Two of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You know, it looked really good until I looked underneath the deck, on the bottom of the deck, and I saw the Three of Swords. Um, and then I had to pull some more clarifiers, because I wasn't really sure what's going on, because the cards were still pretty good. But I think I, um, I get the picture now. So the Two of Wands, that is you trying to make a decision whether you should or should not reach out to somebody could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with a passionate message, with an offer to kind of get to know each other, to go on a date, to uh, basically test the waters with this person and I think the uh, per this person who you are reaching out to who is on your mind will at first uh, answer the call, so to speak, because um, we've got the Two of Cups here. The Two of Cups is um, all about soulmate or even unconditional love. To me personally, the Two of Cups is uh, when two people are on the same page and the feelings are mutual. Or that's what they will at least make you believe right by uh, doing something by uh, taking certain actions towards you most likely like I said answering the call and uh, going on a date with you and uh, you know spending time with you telling you how they how much they like you you know things like that but I think unfortunately it will all come to a screeching halt at some point after that that's why we have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. The Three of Swords is a broken heart, broken promises, um, and basically devastation. Um, I'm pretty sure that at first they will be acting as if they are, you know, starting this relationship with you, like they're being on the same page with you, but. Uh, at some point in the near future, after that, they will act completely different and uh, they will most likely tell you, you know what, um, we don't really vibe on the same level and I gotta go. I don't know if they have anybody else. I don't see any third party cards here, but it's possible that they could be talking to uh, multiple people. Or it's just that they'll realize that it's not working out between the two of you. and. Uh, we have the Nine of Swords here. This is the outcome. Um, I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and the Nine of Swords came out. This is you, uh, depressed, staying up at night, uh, just being very sad about this whole situation. Because, um, like I said, they, uh, you, you most likely thought that this is going to go someplace and the beginning was really nice, but then uh, they had a They'll have a change of heart and uh, break your heart. And uh, like I said, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's what the Knight of Swords is for. But it could be anybody. The Knight of Swords is just the energy. Like the fast energy, the energy of moving forward in the beginning. But then, like I said, it will come crashing down. Um, let's take a look at the advice spread. Uh, perhaps there's still something there for you. This is the advice spread, uh, Capricorn. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, what I really do like is that we have the King and the Queen, and they're a suited couple, right? And it is a couple. So you are most likely dealing with um, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So the advice here is to move on, to move forward, to move away from that horrible person. We've got the chariot on the bottom of the deck. This is either a cancer you're dealing with or this is uh, the advice to move forward. 
Uh, you could be meeting a new person while you're on the road or at the car service or, a car, or at the dealership but most likely like I said the chariot is just you moving forward, you uh, leaving that shit behind and uh, you know looking for love and love you will find. Uh, these are amazing cards here. Um, it's also possible that you will uh, get together with somebody from work or business because we've got the Eight of Pentacles here. The Eight of Pentacles is either your workplace or a business place or it could be a car service place. <laughs> but, and it could be uh, the energy of just you working on uh, yourself or you working on getting out of your headspace and uh, forgetting about the past and uh, you know moving forward with uh, your life and like I said you will find somebody because we've got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups and you are assuming the energy of one of these uh, cards male or female obviously doesn't matter uh, the King of Cups is somebody who is uh, emotionally mature who is in control of their emotions but at the same time very loving and the Queen of Cups is somebody is either um, a water sign but um, more often the, the Queen of Cups is somebody who is very emotional, very loving, often wears their heart in their sleeve. And we have the Knight of Cups here. This is, I believe, the energy of the um, love offer. It could be either you making the offer to this new person or the new ma person making the offer to you. The Knight of Cups is usually a very genuine, a very authentic love offer. Uh, this person really does love you. They have uh, very um, warm and fuzzy feelings <laughs> towards you and they do mean it. They do want to get into a relationship with you. Um, so yeah, I think this is a pretty good advice for you uh, Capricorn. You know guys, I usually do three spreads and the third spread is on the next really good thing that will put at least a smile on your face spread but I'm not gonna do it for you this time because uh, um, you can write me in the comments if you want to see the third uh, spread in the future beware readings but I think this is a pretty good spread right here you've got love coming towards you and uh, the, the two of you will be on the same page the two of you will be vibing on the same level and uh, there is love here and the two of you are moving forward together so um, forget about that incident we saw <laughs> in the first spread and have a fantastic July Capricorn and there you have it I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified thank you for watching